Hello everyone and welcome back to our uh, second episode of our uh, gameplay here which is the United States of Seoul so uh, I'm just gonna uh, so currently our um, our uh, general secretary here is the elected Paula Paulina Sa Sanchez and uh, we just currently uh, finished the war between the human midfell war um, yeah, um, so Paulina Sanchez, military commissariat. So for the moment, um, things are uh, a little bit, uh, y you know, uh, still in the aftermath of this warfare. So we have a very small planets here compared to my previous gameplay, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, we just finished the war and we're currently uh, having a zero consumer goods and 66 uh, food uh, so we have to work on that uh, try to uh, you know build our economy okay let's so let's proceed now on our gameplay here okay uh, let's just keep digging there we go uh, we have a colony stockpile. So, uh, yeah, this is our current uh, sectors for at the moment. Um, so, uh, I'm not sure why this, uh, our eco eco monopolis world here has been left out, but... Okay, I'm just gonna go with that. Um, let's add Ethel Blair as our new governor for that um, we'll also recruit one extra so we'll uh... oh okay well I'm not capable of having an extra what was this? oh okay uh, yeah he, uh, Yasmin Herbert was uh... her defeat uh, on, the pre on the one engagement was left her at least uh, upset so he, he's still struggling on it but he did become a, um, what do you call this, a uh, war hero on during the Mitfell, human Mitfell war. So for the moment, uh, we don't need to fortify the border. Um, I mean, uh, everything's looking good for the moment, so uh, there's no need to do that. I'm just gonna go here, here, and we're just gonna change a little rights here. Uh, say, Let's just change it to not decent conditions, but academic privilege. Uh, well, it could be a euro. Okay, upkeep. So we are going to have plus one upkeep. Decent conditions is one. Okay, so I'm going to definitely have a negative uh, on consumer goods here. So I have to work that out. Um, what else can I... Uh, yeah, we, we're trying to um, build this and two of these. So far, there's nothing much we could do. We just built some extra districts. <coughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, we have a forge world. Um, okay, and this one. Oh, 23. And it's a tropical world. Very interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so but uh huh. Okay, well uh yeah. I'm going to um Oh great, I don't have oh okay eighty two. Okay, um how about uh we, we don't really have much here. Um we don't have food as well. Okay, so I guess I'll have to wait unfortunately. <laughs> So okay, we'll just Empire go for grows. normal speed New right colonies now. colonies can be organized into sectors. Sectors can be managed from the top. Yes, yes, of course I'm now negative on stockpile here, unfortunately. Um, that's uh, really a problem right now. Um, okay, um, this one, we just go sell this one for basic. Yeah, it's always this one for now, production focus, because uh, by the end game, may end in mid game crisis, it will always be like this one. For now, there's nothing more I could uh, build right now here, just this one. 
Okay, let's continue on on what we're doing. Um, probably the first fleet will uh, have to travel a long way here. Uh, I'll probably have to just keep a military presence here, I guess. Anomaly found. Um, leave it for now. Um, okay. Um, uh, yeah, I'll just put all my my uh, military assets here in this area in Illustria for for the moment. Anomaly found. Okay, just leave it for the moment. Um, right. So we got a lot of influence points, which is good on our end here. I'll build a star base, a uh, star base outpost in that area. Well, we got some several um, planets here. Continental is 19. Mm, okay, that's uh, reasonable. Oh, this one, it's 25 in the Sky World. Wow. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, this is very good. So we got some several good planets here that we might need to expand. Uh, yeah, I think I'll have to. Uh, System reconnaissance completed. Okay, what's this? Uh, I've fully surveyed. Um, it's a far flung area, so uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll just let my science vessels. So we're the. We're just only limited to a couple of civilizations here because, uh, well, one, this isn't the Milky Way, so we don't need a big uh, uh, galaxy. This is a dwarf elliptical uh, story-wise or lore-wise. And to my com until I bought a computer, I can't really put on a large uh, map right now. <laughs> yeah, you know, it puts a strain on my computer, like what happened on my last playthrough. And with my uh, equipment, uh, one of my equipments just went broke down yesterday. So I'm, uh, you know, my extra screen just broke down yesterday. So I'm not in the position to ha to uh, pl make a playthrough, a large uh, gameplay playthrough at the moment. So I'm just basically stuck with uh, doing small time right now, complete. like 800 stars. So, uh, okay, we're just gonna secure our star base here. So yeah, we'll just secure this area, um, or at least until in the, this one. Well, we could play wide and we could play tall, but uh, for the moment, I just prefer at least tall because uh, there's not enough uh, space. And I'm afraid that my computer might stall because of that. Okay, uh, we'll just uh, remove these. How about this one? So we'll just converge all our uh, fleets there. Oh my Jesus! Okay, yeah, 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 I already get it. Uh, uh, I'm really in need of 86 right now. Unfortunately, I have a lot of negatives. Uh, okay, we'll just do that. For now, we just advance it only here, in this area. Now I'm wondering, what's this? Recon uh, pass I'm completed. Honestly, I wonder what's this? Uh, why this system hasn't been colonized yet? Okay, um... Anyway, we're, our empire is a little bit small. Uh-huh. Who could this might be? Oh! Oh my! Oh, this is uh, an avian species again. Oh my god. But, what kind of avian species is the question? I don't want to go to another uh, hostile alien encounter again. So, uh, let's hope that that will not be the case here. Um, so yeah, um, for the moment, that's my uh, situation right now. So I'll just probably build this one. And this... 
uh, Mesopotamia will probably be, uh, I don't know, uh, a factory world. This one should also be a factory world, unfortunately. Okay, uh, that's a thing. I'll probably have to buy some minerals. Uh, oh, great. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we got our uh, uh, our attack ship here, or actually the uh, UNS army here, uh, with several uh, lesser soldiers units. That's the term I'm gonna call right now. Otherwise, on the uh, on the Dread Commando. Well, we'll just call him. Well, as a unit, they're gonna be called uh, as an individual. They're gonna be called uh, Lazarus soldiers. But uh, but for lore wise, uh, also just to keep things simple here, they're gonna be called Dread Commandos. Yeah, they are basically just undead army. Basically, they're not exactly undead as uh, like I said on lore wise. They're not basically undead as like zombies. They're undead because they're more like. You know, uh, more like a universal soldier. You know, um, they're basically, uh, you know, being recycled. Anomaly as a found. Okay, what do we got? Uh, leave it for now. We're not gonna go for any anomalies. Anomaly found. <laughs> okay, fine, Vega. <laughs> <coughs> Construction complete. Okay, goody goody. Uh, we're gonna push this one up a little bit north. Oh, wait, wait, wait. My mistake. This one. Uh, we had some... Uh, about... Uh, Ariana this season. So yeah, she'll be doing that kind of stuff. Okay, we got 20, so we'll just put this one. We got construction two complete. Uh, what's this? Our analysis is for fucking fascinating. So, yeah. So, uh, the UNS fleet, uh, compared to my previous fleet, though, won't, won't have uh, an actual, uh, it won't have an. Uh, a naval formation they're just basically whatever we could put up or pump out on our shipyards that will be the uh, how do we call this the uh, uh, that'll, uh, in other words my uh, fleet or my naval fleets here are a combination so uh, yeah uh, a combination of different ships so, so for now we're establishing this one star base uh, just near on the Mithfell border also probably two more colonies with this one um, yeah sorry my uh, nose is kinda you know not very good right now probably my uh, allergic reactions or something but anyway uh, let's proceed with what we're doing here and we got a lo very long session gameplay here right now I'm planning at least six hours uh, completed. Or at least four well, we'll leave it for now. Oi. Okay, uh, my mistake with that. So we've only got two food at the moment. Not very good. <sighs> okay, well, we're doing a lot of stuff here. Uh, as long as I don't stretch my empire too thin, I won't have any problems Construction here. complete. What's this guy? Okay, uh, we'll probably have to go here. Yeah, we'll just move here. A little bit here and then we'll push Science up division here. Report success. So we can have this one as our borders. Okay, uh, right now we'll probably have about... Uh, uh, point barrier defense. Yeah, we think we have to research on our uh, defense right now. 
it's very uh, important So for now, this will uh, our hometown here. This will be our core region. So we're System just gonna be all our industries and uh, mega structures in this core region. The rest will be just profits because we don't have an L gate sector. So we're just gonna center our power here. Our second capital will probably be here if I manage to build a star base. Uh, Whiteboard seems to be uh, what do you call this? A good site for a second capital. <coughs> Yeah, Wankwerp. We got uh, bureaucrats. Uh, it's also uh, suitable for uh, administrate for a research world here in natural beauty and happiness. So uh, that's my priority right now, uh, getting that. Uh, thing. So uh, yeah, where were we? Okay, let's check on our uh, contact list here. Um, of course, they hate us because we've been at war and we took most of our... Uh... So for now, um, uh, we'll send one... We're just gonna improve our relations. So we're just gonna say guide the voice. And at the same time, we'll serve as a spy. Uh, it will serve as a spy uh, spy envoy at the same time on the Midfell Empire. <laughs> So I'm just gonna write that down uh, on the story lore later on after this uh, <coughs> gameplay session. Okay, uh, right. Um, uh, actually, we don't have enough. Uh, okay, here's the thing. Can we colonize this one? We still need 200 food. Okay, we'll just buy tons of it. Um, and I forgot the alloys. Alright, my mistake with that one. Uh, yeah, but uh, that's okay. We're gonna set up a colony here uh, near the more elusive Stanya. Um, this will be probably a fortress world or something. Anomaly found. Okay, uh, why are we doing Construction complete. R Dock 4. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is the mum aliens, or codename mum aliens for now. System reconnaissance completed. Chores menace. Okay, another aliens, but unfortunately we're limited with our diplomacy here. That will have to be investigated later on. And they're just, I think, right at the border of this, uh... Oh, the U.S. Green Sock crew excited to learn that this may find on the surface of Nana. Not only but the plentiful sand dunes on the compound, the sand itself is almost entirely composed of countless broken nanites. The microscopic machines are millions of years old. Its structure degraded over... Huh. Millions of years ago. Huh. Disconcerting. Yeah. <laughs> It means there's an ancient edge civilization back then using nanites. Construction complete. To what purpose, we don't know. Um, so, okay, so we got some 200. Uh, no, okay, uh, that's okay. We're still fine with that. Um, for now, this is just going to be a military base. It's not going to be a shipping base. But we are going to establish trade. Um, off-world trading company and uh, I don't know um, uh, uh, we don't have enough alloys here I'll probably build some sort of defense or probably an anchorage but for now I'm not gonna use an anchorage I guess I'll be better off using uh, I don't know uh, something useful maybe a defense or something so okay <laughs> we're okay with that <laughs> ah, we have made recon our, um, pass completed yeah of course uh, uh, we got our several uh how come our science vessels are concentrated in this area <laughs> Uh. 
construction complete. Yeah, I think I should focus on building more um yeah, that'll come. Uh, currently, I'm still on a budget with the alloys. Uh, okay, uh, this is something. Well, this one's a forge world as far as I'm concerned. Uh, okay, we'll uh, build some trade. Uh, we'll just keep on the economy by building some trade networks here. Uh, features. Alright, let's just keep it up. Um, how would I manage this one? Well, we got a uh, hollow theater, so that's good. I think we should go for unity. We don't have much of a unity. Uh, Autokyon movement. Amenity. Culture workers turn consumer goods into unity, amenities, they will end uh, citizen pop happiness, government ethics attraction. Yeah, I think this is more uh, effective rather than this one, the administ administrative. So, okay, Auto, Auto Chan Monument will be nice. Okay, uh, let's do that. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, on 2237 October 2nd, we have encountered an alien, which is called Irisu Galactic Commonality. I don't know what that means. And another bird species. The good thing with this one is that they're pacifist. Well, of course, they're xenophobe and authoritarian. Okay. Uh, well, as long as they're pacifists, uh, I think we should be f doing well with that. After much of which, I have authorized speak to you with on behalf of the Irisu Galactic Commonality. We have built a peaceful system of government that operates under the, the supervision of a council led by Coordinator Akan Kulu. Your alien influence is not welcome here. Uh, okay. I don't know. We could go for positive so that it won't uh, we do not care for your fibus spy network growth on us okay we're just gonna play poker face with this one so we have a positive uh, fortunately they're kind of a bit far from our location and they're at war with some uh, some sort of uh, I don't know, some sort of Xeno species that we haven't met. It's pa Palatian Iriso Holy Purge. Well, probably a religious one from the looks of it. Anyway, not our business as long as we do not, uh, you know, meddle with theirs. Uh, they're not gonna meddle in us, of course. <laughs> so probably we could set our borders here somewhere in this Infalma hut. Yeah, I know. It's uh, somewhere in the name of the... Um, it's supposed to be a name of a system on the Milky Way. But uh, for, you know, for more uh, reasons, we're not... Uh, we're just gonna say it was renamed to form a hut. Or something like that. And we're gonna build some colonies here. So this one, uh, this will be the border, form a hut. Um, for now, they're a little bit busy and distracted, so we're okay with that. As long as they're busy, distracted, uh, we're gonna uh, go, you know, we're doing good with that. Construction complete. Okay, uh... None menace, okay. Oh, we got some debris here. Um, yeah. Okay, where's our debris here? Wait, wait, wait. Let's pause that one. We're gonna need those debris, basically. It could improve our science. Uh, great. I probably have to commission one. Shafter. Oh, we got already got what? Several one, two. What the hell are they doing in there? We got two, so I'll just borrow one. Uh, this is gonna be a very, very long uh, research project in the system. 
will take him at least a very long time. That's okay. Illustria, uh, for now, where it's going to be a missile battery. If this is just going to be, uh, we're just gonna name this one New Stra Defense Station. Naval Defense, Naval Defense Station. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's okay. We will defend the station. So it's just a funny name that we uh, made here. So, uh, yeah, I think it's about time we colonize this one. We're gonna name this one. I don't know, let's just name something in. Uh, okay, we'll just name this New Amsterdam. Yeah, I know it's somewhere from Holland, but uh, we're okay with that. <coughs> Basically, it's gonna be an industrial world, I guess. It has a lot of industrial districts. So yeah, uh, it will serve, uh, but originally it will be a fortress world, I guess. Oh, no, no, industrial world, uh, because fortress worlds are systematically will be placed on choke uh, choke areas. So yeah. Uh, Oh my, it's almost 26 minutes, so I'm just gonna save every 30 minutes, uh, just to keep myself, uh... Okay, for now, we're just gonna build some mining here. Just to, uh, you know, as a pastime. Uh... Right. So this is basically a forge world, uh, right? So there's a lot of unhappiness, but currently we are uh, we don't have terraforming uh, technologies at the moment, so we're just uh, kind of stuck with that. Hey, where's this one? Okay, just do your thing. Okay, what do we got? Oh, food. Yeah, fine. Okay, traditions available. Supremacy, build sheep reduced with 25%. Upkeep, level capacity, damage versus star base plus 20%. Uh, yeah, we'll go for the economics first. Uh, the built uh, ship can do later. Uh, so for the moment, we got three naval fleets here. Uh, we'll probably have to assemble the... Oh, okay. Well, uh, that's really swell. <coughs> System reconnaissance completed. I'll probably have to convert this one later on to uh, probably a shipyard. Well, uh, what's this planet? 18. Okay, not exactly that. Uh... Okay, we'll just expand here all the way up to Fall Mahat so that we can get. <laughs> we can get the, the rest of this one. So we gotta have a nice huge chunk of uh, peace in the galaxy here. <laughs> so for now our southern borders are still not um, fixed. Anyway, it's almost 30 minutes so I'm just gonna save this one so just give me a moment. Um, okay, this will be... Um, UNS episode zero one uh, zero two uh, letter A. Okay, um, yeah, just give me a moment here. I'm just gonna save it on my OBS. Um, okay, uh, just a moment. Okay, there we go. We've already saved that, so let's continue on on what we're uh, 
you know, playing here. So, uh, it's imagined that I'm still going on normal speed here. I mean, uh, when on my previous playthrough, I'm already at this point uh, doing what do you call this? Uh, already a fast speed. So, uh, yeah. Um, well, it's a good thing this will be the case. Um, yeah, I'll. Uh, oh, I can say. We still haven't met any agricultural planets, so this will be, I guess, an agriculture. Very poor for agriculture. So we got two industrialized worlds, actually, three if we count this one. Uh, one that produces uh, alloys. So currently we're still negative on the uh, consumer goods here. That's okay, uh, we can manage with that one. <coughs> Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, we got now a hangar bay, uh, which is good. So I think we could go for robotic workers. <laughs> but we're not, for the moment, we're not gonna go for, uh, um, <coughs> we're not going to go to, uh, they're not gonna be in the planet side. They're just gonna be probably orbital habitats. <coughs> System reconnaissance completed. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll just do that. Construction complete. Oh, boar. So an extremely powerful subspace entity of some kind has been encountered in the Theramore system. It does not appear hostile and may not be even be fully aware of conventional spacecraft, but it is for presence of a Theramore is causing massive subspace disturbances in the entire system. <coughs> Sorry. These disturbances are localized around the entity itself. It should not disappear when it leaves the system. While it does not acknowledge Hoss, the entity is continuously emitting a complex pattern of tachyon pulses which appears to be a form of language. If our translation software is correct, it is saying over and over, Vlur seeks, Vlur finds. Okay. Right, uh, it sounds more like an orc. But anyway, as long as it's not into the uh, space of the United Nations of Seoul, um, that's not going to be a problem. Okay, uh, what's this Siemens lab? Our armed vessel discovered an orbit of an abandoned military space called Nefertius Pride. Its light frame innovation software suggests it was built for a long distance patrol mission, but it has been retrofitted to a long range self bomber. <laughs> okay. Records of the ship comms reveal that it was hijacked by a rebel guerrilla in a way to perform a strike against a secret complex called X Men Labs. Said to hold a weapon so powerful it could win them in the war when they are were shot down, whatever strike is. <laughs> New sit reps. Okay, uh, yeah, let's see what this one is. Um, Seaven Labs. Yeah, but where's this located? Some sort of abandoned lab facility in Eridosica. Which is right near our borders. Uh, yeah, this is a problem. Uh, Fine, I'll go create another science vessel here. It's not really good about this. Okay, um... So for now, my scientist is doing a lot of, uh... Exploring here. Construction complete. Right, very good. Um, we'll just build a little more to our borders in Falma Hut, and that's it. That's as far as the uh, United States of so uh, United Nations of Seoul uh, is on their borders. So we're just setting some borders here. Okay, I've already got a science vessel, which is quite nice, but very fast. UNS Earhart. 
Um, we'll go for Roman Driven or Agustina. Yeah, we'll go for uh, Javier de la Vega. Some, uh, so his main mission is research the project here. <coughs> okay. So, yeah. Well, things that they're improving. Looks like our uh, improved relations is working here. It's System now, reconnaissance uh, completed. System reconnaissance completed. Okay. Okay, that's good. Oh, Lord. Yeah, they're just right near here. Anyway, we don't have an Elgate cluster here, so we don't have to worry about uh, anything. Um, okay, uh, oh, we're Construction good with this one. complete. Interesting. Uh, uh, intriguing. New sit rep. Okay, we're just <coughs> doing investigations with that. Hopefully, it's not another hostile nation here. Uh, none menace, yeah. Oh, it's an enemy fleet from the looks of it. It's a destroyer. Oh, they're not. Uh, there's some sort of mining thing. Okay, as long as they're not, uh, <coughs> as long as they're not hostile, they're just basically just wandering off in the Palma Hut system. Okay, uh, construction we're just gonna complete. Eat some menace. Uh, what do we got here? Some robotic drones are fighting. Oh, okay. System Palma reconnaissance Hats, completed. Uh, okay, Falmahat is a problematic uh, area indeed. Okay, um... Well, uh, we wish to be a, become your patron. Uh, 2,000. Uh, okay, let's see if we've got some cash here. Uh, well, do you take some energy credits? No? Um, okay, needs a deal. So, we're just, uh... Um, probably we'll just buy a commission uh, on your uh, artworks later on. So, yeah. Okay, I do apologize. I'm having another um, allergy attacks here. <sighs> right, so we got a lot of negatives here. So we need probably an agricultural world. So, uh, yeah. Um, Taking evasive action. Okay. Um, What's this? Uh, Salerno will be colonized. Yeah, but we need food right now. Um, okay, we're just gonna sell a little bit tea tap mineral here. Okay, we'll just so we're just gonna name this one Bountiful. Um, Bount. Okay, let's just name a, an agricultural world. Yeah, let's just name this uh, Bounty, Bountiful. Oh, fine. We'll just name our colony the Zombie, New Africa. Yeah, okay, we'll just name this one New Africa. New Africa. It's, it's settled. Okay. Um, and this will be Agricultural World. Yeah, New Africa is going to be an Agricultural World. Um, we already said that. Taking evasive action. Oh my. Uh, yeah, we don't know about this one. Uh, 
far. Well, uh, we're currently riding out of Envoy, so uh, we'd just rather not uh, get associated with them. Okay, what do we got more here? Um, Special projects complete. Okay, what's this? Uh, scientists returned from Ixian Labs and asked the footage collecting the facility security cameras, which show scientists bound and gag as guerrilla soldiers reopen the weapon's strong box. But to their dismay, the box is empty. Only minutes later, Ravels can be seen nothing with the floor in intense agony. Dark patches accessing through the bodies with their uh, skin ribs and an identified. Um, Oh, identified, uh... Oh, sorry, what's this one? Oh, sorry, I'm just uh, having a bad cold. Uh, the matter continues to expand swirly hypnotically around them through the exact, uh... Okay. Swirly hypnotically around them. When scientists activate the emergency system sprinklers causing the room in the liquid and electrical surge passes through it. Ex uh, executing all living things here is a footage or uh, is our okay spooky <laughs> yeah okay uh, I'm just gonna send him up here uh, ah great uh, I guess popular rock target uh Well, there's a derailed ship here, but uh, I'm not sure if we're. Uh, that's still, still too far flung. I'll just go keep uh, Earhart uh, probably researching some anomalies here. And we go this one automatic. Uh, we'll do automatic this guy. Uh, right. Okay, we got a new uh, UNS General Secretary by 24 uh, December, so it's going to be a new elections, I guess. So yeah, uh, there we go. Huh. Yeah, consumer goods three months. Yeah, okay, fine. Duly noted. Uh, first contract event. Okay, let's go for caution. We don't know these guys, so uh, we got a lot of unknowns on the northern border of our uh, of our uh, gameplay. System here. reconnaissance completed. But do can system basically uh. Sorry about that. Our districts have expanded. Okay, Unity gained. Oh, it's been elected. So, Paulina Sanchez has been re elected yet again for the third time, I guess. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Okay, uh. Yeah, New Amsterdam is already, uh... Oh. <coughs> yeah, I think we should send a colony here. Um, but we still uh, lack some uh, stuff here. Oh, this one's 90%. That's a Gaia world. It's okay, um, so for now, there's an immediate uh, lack Science of, Division uh, reports a new breakthrough. Okay, what do we got? Adversity Edict Fund. Um, we could go for this one or Pop Speed. 
think we go for fob speed. So yeah. Nothing interesting. Um Yeah, I'll just build some uh, mining machines here or something. Um, they're around two four hundred forty-five. We don't know their strength here. System okay, reconnaissance uh, completed. Meaning suggests the present unknown orbit of internal horizon. Internal horizon systems. Unknown fleet. Okay, uh Yeah, try to do research here. We'll see what's that internal horizon thing. Yeah, probably make a new uh shipyard or construction vehicle here. This probably have to close these borders inside on the core regions. And also I should not uh uh, what do you call this? Uh, I should not forget my uh, military here. Permanent communications have been established with an alien empire. Yes. So they just found Eta Minis as just some sort of mining drones. So we'll check this one out. Uh, we don't know what they are. Oh my god, it's a Marauder fleet. If I recall correct. And yeah, I better not get associated myself with this one. Yeah, full Mahat is our borders for now, or this one. Hologram. Investigation recognizes the signature internal horizon received an unexpected discovery. The fleet is not in fact a safe orbit the safe orbit of black hole but rather crossing its event horizon. Projectors that a fleet approached eternal horizon event her centuries ago, where a time dilation left their image detectable in the surface. Okay. <coughs> Whether the fleet's actions were intentional or the result of some. Okay, so it's just an accident. Uh, that's not gonna be a problem. Ah, great, we don't have food. Okay, we'll just buy 400. Taking evasive action. Uh, just some construction complete. <coughs> so we got one marauding empire here. What's this? Consumer goods, 12 months. Yeah, we're good. New Amsterdam's gonna be an industrial. Uh, yeah, we'll probably have to set this one as the uh, new sector. Okay. So yeah, we got a very good gameplay here. It's quite fast. <laughs> compared to my previous uh, gameplay which uh, I don't mind the big battles but the problem is my <laughs> it's that uh, I like the equipment at the moment oh what's this fleet order cancel UNS Hawking oh okay he died De La Vega um, we're just gonna hire some guy yeah we're gonna go for Joaquin Solano or, or walk, yeah, yeah. Probably some Latina girl or something. Okay, there we go. And let's continue on our uh, gameplay here. So for now, the tensions are not built here. 
Hello, they still hate us. Uh, okay, we'll just probably have to build uh, several more. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll just keep our fleets uh, uh, reinforced here just in case an outbreak uh, happens. Okay. Permanent communications have been established with an alien empire. Uh, we have a cloud study, so we got. <laughs> okay, we're good with that. So for now, we can't proceed here. Our, uh, I, I think I have to deploy my uh, second fleet here. Combat this one. Uh, Edward Wo So it's gonna be a very very long journey. One thousand three hundred seventy days. <laughs> For now it's far too remote. Uh, I think we're okay with this one. Yeah, okay, I will just cancel that order. Oh no no no. My mistake. Uh this one should Consumer goods. Uh, System reconnaissance completed. Okay, that's good. So for now, we're being blocked here. Our pioneers have drones. made planet fall. Okay, New Africa colony has been uh, re-established. Um, yeah, I guess it's about time I set uh, this one. Oh, well, this is a tropical world, a small one. Arctica. Uh, Arctic is 30% in 10. It's a small world. 12. Uh, uh, oh, we got some... We got very small worlds here. <coughs> this one's a desert. Um, let me check on my expansion planner later on. Um, In the expansion planner, we find nearby habitable planets that may present opportunities for colonization. We can one. build colony like ships and issue possible. them orders directly from this screen. Yeah, actually we got some several worlds here that are uh, ideal, but uh, it's a toxic world. <laughs> <coughs> So I'll probably research uh, when I get my uh, um, when I get my second. Uh, I'll go for some terraforming technology with that one. Uh, if I get my second ascension first, probably have to. Uh, Okay, what do we got? Consumer goods is 12. Oh. Yeah, right. Okay, okay. I'll better check with my uh, gameplay here. Uh, we got some factory world, factory world. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll probably have to buy one. Okay, we're, we're good with this one. Okay, um, okay, uh, this is epic. Uh, do 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 System is completed. Okay, what do we got? Construction complete. Okay, I'm just gonna check some uh Uh, 
yeah, I guess we don't have any choice but to send the naval fleet here. Uh, this would take a while. Okay, um... <coughs> Yeah, research anomalies. Um, yeah. Cause on uh, crash starship. Yeah, we'll probably have to go this one in Fall the Hut. Let's have to claim this uh, thing here. Uh, yeah. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Okay. Uh-huh, we we'll go for moats. Um, food. Yeah, I'll probably reserve four of this one. We just have to get this one. I need uh, 59. Okay, just give me a moment. Uh, 500, yeah? Okay, we would like to donate. Thank you. Goodbye. First Construction have to complete. Be upgraded. Okay. Air heart. Huh. Yeah, I'll just probably put him to uh Ah, oh, TR. Okay. Oh, sure, it's gonna be said they are massive. Okay. Science so division make it so. reports a new breakthrough. <laughs> yeah, you probably uh made um uh what do you call this a breakthrough in uh, ion engine uh, research. Okay with this one. The color of science, the cause of solar radiation rises observed around corona turned out to be unusual crystal formation. We reproduce we'll send new frequencies back to our artists. Uh, Multi following. Okay, we'll go for this one. Shipyard is where someone has destroyed the alien shipyard that has been used by the fellowship in the crusade against us. Okay, this happened in 24 for 11. Preliminary reports indicate that the cultist forces were thoroughly wiped out, but we also have received intelligence that the cult's charismatic leader left the shipyard. On her new pie moments before the battle had begun, there is still at large somewhere in the galaxy military intelligence working on pinpointing the exact location of it. <laughs> she will be found. And this is interesting. Uh, <coughs> he was destroyed by some sort of alien. Our colonists. What's this? Alien menace? Alien mining? Okay, uh, New Amsterdam is... It's gonna be a new sector. Uh, oh, okay, we got a new uh, corrupt governor here. Um, Galero Hernandez will be recruited or... 
Okay, and uh, there's one more thing that I need to do right now. I'll probably have to fire this guy. Uh, yeah, she got fired. Uh, when was replaced by um. Uh, okay, I would love that, but I got seven hundred. <laughs> Okay, so for the time being, there's no governor on that area. She just got, uh, I don't know, replaced. Um, uh, okay, in regards to this one, what's best? <coughs> Alien Menace, uh... Okay, uh, it's a multiple uh, black hole system. Uh, we're not sure of that. Okay, uh, that's okay. Oh, we got two gateways here. Um, James Cook. Who died? Uh, Connor Federica. Unfortunately, we got some uh, unity issues here. Okay, uh, we'll probably be, uh, be building. Um, New Amsterdam is gonna be designated as construction complete. Well, it's gonna be designated as an industrial world. Unfortunately, factory world to be specific. Free citizen. Okay, that's good. <coughs> yeah. New sit reps. Ah. Where's this this? Ready the fleet. And where does? Yeah, and where does this go? Yeah, but I have no idea. Oh, this one's a different. Okay, so we got um, a new uh, alien here that's rebelled. Rebelled against the Mithril Enlightened Kingdom. Okay. <laughs> so I guess rebellions are re uh, pretty much very common. Okay, uh, we got four uh, people who are not happy. Um, yeah, okay, fine. We'll just go build a hollow theaters or something. So that they could be a little bit more happier than the usual. Um, yeah, we'll go for hollow theaters with this. Um, no. We're just gonna go for trade first. Trade will be the usual. Uh, Food in two months. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I already got the idea. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Okay. Pop goat speed will be a uh, goody goody with this one. Maximum garrisons. How about two more habitability? Yeah, we'll go for two more, but we haven't encountered a two world yet. Uh, currently, I still lack unity points, to be honest. <laughs> Huh? Okay. So yeah, pretty much everything is stable. So um, what do we got? Um. Scott Tweedy will be the one replacing him. 
He got sacked for corruption. <laughs> for corruption charges. Construction complete. Okay, uh, I guess we're just gonna close our border here. Uh, I mean, this gaps. So we're okay. Uh, we've got now established our north and south here. Oh my, it's already, uh, I didn't notice. Uh, this will be UNS episode 02, letter B. Okay, there we go, and we're going to save this one. And uh, I'm going to save this one uh, just a second on my OBS. So let's just uh, give me a moment here. Okay, uh, there we go. So let's continue. So we're already 22:45. Uh, we're kind of fast based on the action right now because, uh, but I'm pretty sure that the mid-game crisis will not appear anytime soon, even with my game. Ships plate. refitted. All right, it's already refitted. Uh, let's just put them in here. Uh, we still lack some uh, fleet strength here, and. My uh, second fleet here, uh, commanded by Edward Walters. Honestly, I think my uh, gameplay here is an error. I mean, Edward Walters, the name is Edward Walters, but uh, she's a girl actually. Uh, oh well, anyway, doesn't matter. Maybe some just error. Maybe it's just an error on my gameplay. Okay, right, so where do we got? Uh, we're gonna start first here. Then build, build these, build these. Okay, one more. And uh, let's build three of these. Yeah, we're just gonna build the districts. Uh, we kinda need the districts right now. Construction complete. Okay, wonderful. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna go for the last one here, just to clean up all these uh, little nasty borders. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, our Corvette fleet here is uh, still within a year. Uh, the new world has been secured for our colonists. Okay, New Africa, as expected, will be an agriculture planet. Basically, they're. Uh... Oh, great. Uh, well. Right, um, let me check on my uh, expansion planner here. Which is suited as an agriculture. A desert world. Uh, asteroid impacts. Oh, it's 25 size. Okay, where is this located? Ah, right. Can't access this one. So it's uh, right here. Uh, no, we can't name it. Okay, so fine. Um, uh, let me guess with this one. Uh, let me check my, uh, Zintari. Okay, uh, Zintari. Oh, it's an agriculture planet. Yeah, I'll just name this one an agri planet later on. Okay, naval base. Okay, we got here, uh, the wreckage must have been a major first league naval base that has been detected in orbit around Rosalke. Second, we know that the league maintained a massive fleet called Grand Navy to com combat piracy and safeguard members of the nation from extended aggressors. This particular outpost appears to have been provided birthing for one of their uh, rim wall patrol fleets. Right, uh, remarkable. I'm just gonna have to 
Uh, what's this? Naval base research. Wow, okay, there was a naval base here. Okay. Several native islands were recently uh, established in colony execute copious amounts of pollen. Huh. Okay, floral study. Yeah, I think we should go for a floral study with this. But unfortunately, we don't have a science vessel with that. I guess that's half to wait. Well, small planets can be refinery planets. Uh, okay. Yeah, food, of course, food. Food is uh, still a big issue. I get it. Anyway, since it's doing nothing, I'll probably have to expand here. Just to build uh, an agri uh, agriculture planet in this area. Do -do 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 -do. <coughs> Construction complete. Okay, uh, that's good. <coughs> Right, so we got 1.1k fleet at the moment. Uh, I don't know. Let's check this one. Special project complete. Uh, archaeological missions to the first league naval base has concluded. We recovered the emblem of 28 after we patrol fleet and mid-sized. Task force charged with the defense of trade routes uh, leading to the league associated nations along the Galactic Rim. The base orbiting it was apparently uh, their home port. Interesting. Okay, um, yeah. Um, where was I? Uh, okay. Okay, so we're still, I uh, got several, uh, Yeah, okay, we've already uh, Scott Sweeney. Uh, that's good. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, yeah, I got already my Corvettes here. So New Africa is an agriculture world. Uh, we still keep a uh, stronghold. Wait, yeah, agriculture district. Wait, what we got here? Ah, oh, okay, right. So for the moment, uh, we got a sizable area that is, uh, uh, we got a sizable area that we occupy in the galaxy. Uh, 245 so I hope this won't be a little bit uh, um, Fleet action underway. Okay Let's just uh, uh, Great, I do not understand um, Why I could not uh, zoom with the fight anymore but okay, let's just take a look. Construction complete. Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll just go get this one. All right. Kinda freed our um, our science vessels here, so they're kind of free to do whatever they want. Oh no, except Earhart and Hawken. Where's Hawken? No, Hawken will just remain. James Cook. Oh, okay, uh, we got a science guy who got the. Uh, Okay, Drew Shadraham, um, sorry, his, uh, his name is literally a mouthful, um, okay, uh, we're gonna stop this one, build a star base here, we need to secure this area, 
Okay, marine carrion, olfactory arousal, long-term exposure to the pollen natural occurring in U.S. atmosphere in the acts of colonies, pheromone receptors with a mild aphrodisiac effect accompanied by a highly uh, presentable hive that produces the pollen. Okay, so we're just gonna, uh, I don't know, we're gonna, remarkable, yeah, it just adds to happiness. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's a thing for... Uh, board cultish time. Uh, we're not gonna go for a cultist here. I'll just let that... Uh-huh, floral study. Oh, we got debris in Fulma Hut, but we don't have any near science vessel. Wait, I'll just uh, borrow this one. Okay, uh. Okay, once we build our. Um, what do you call this? Our. Uh. uh this is gonna be uh, well this is basically an agriculture planet but okay uh, I'll just uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make him research something here okay uh, uh, science division report success okay harvesting modes uh, Probably we should um, go with the plasma thrower and in the meantime let's build another uh... Oh imagine that we have good relations here. Complete. We got tents but uh, it's now improving. Food is 11 months. Okay, we'll just have to uh, go all the way Construction back. Construction complete. Okay, uh, we just move here. Science uh, division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, we got some robot assembly plants. Uh, probably can grab a hand around and sell some destroyers. That would uh, at least help with our uh, situation there. Okay. Battle uh, debris secured. Okay, mining lasers, physical. Uh, I don't know. Physical lasers. Yeah, they gotta do what they gotta do. Okay, so we got some borders here with the uh, Girusu Galactic Community. Not very good. And fine. Yeah, okay. Well, it has... Uh... Okay, uh, let's just buy one. Well, anyway, this will be, uh... Alright, uh, what we got here? I think we'll just let some guy here uh, do some excavation site. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh Okay, let's just do some mining before we can proceed to Wankworth or something. We also got Signy. So, uh, okay, uh, resources. What's what's this? Reports from New Amsterdam indicate that the worker productivity has declined recently, becoming stable at levels of several. Percent lower than the uh, United Nations of Souls average. 
So in other words, it's making people lazy. This may or may not be due to the stability effects of the pollen native to the plant. It probably is. A special project has been prepared should we wish to make our production pipelines more efficient. New sit wrap. Uh, okay, we got another thing. According to a report from the Cube Unit's era, their mission was a failure. Science officer Javier Delvig allegedly took manual control of the probe to retrieve a sample from the cluster, resulting in a collision between the drone and mineral cluster that mined the cluster apart from it. The crew is carefully to note that the experience left science director de la Vega somewhat shaken and the mineral shards still uh, somewhat. Huh. Okay, it's parts equal to the sum of its parts. Stubborn trait, uh, leader experience gain. I think the only thing that's negative here is this one. Its parts are equal to the sum of its parts. Okay. Right, uh, I think we're gonna build an outpost here. Just basically secure this whole entire area. Now for this one, I'm not sure what this 5k alien menace is. Um, for now, uh, things are relatively peaceful on my uh, playthrough here. We haven't encountered any uh, Leviathans or something. Which is I'm okay with that. Um, Construction complete. Some towering. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, what do we got here? Um, okay, we're just gonna send, um, uh, oh great, uh, I'll just sell all our minerals here. Okay, we're just going to send, okay, what's, uh, okay, food, yeah, food. Uh, what can we name with this one? Yes, uh, yeah, we're gonna game it Greenland, even though it's a, a more like Iceland. But this one is an agriculture. Ag, uh, agri world. So, yeah. Uh, tropical world. Construction complete. Okay, uh, right, we're gonna do a little bit southern stop here. For now, this is our borders with the, uh, uh, this will now be the new borders of the United Nations of Seoul, uh, way up here. Uh, way up in the foam pond, uh, thing. Okay, um, some tower here. Yeah, we'll just move all the way up here. Okay, one last. Uh, okay, uh, we still need uh, fleet command limit plus 20, of course. So I just have to build. Uh... Oh, great. Um... Right. Uh, we have to buy a lot of food for that. So for now, things are stable, although... Oh, they're currently at war. Uh, what's this one? War of Aggression. Um, they seem to be... Oh, okay. Um, oh, they seem to be fighting up a rebellion here. Uh, on their own space. So that's okay if that's uh, the thing here. Recon pass completed. Right, uh, what do we got? Time project. Uh, for floral study. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with this one with the floral study. Construction complete. Right, uh, we'll just close our borders here. 
Okay, General Lin Xian died. Um, what's this uh, area? Who could have built? Use it, wrap. Oh, okay, uh, this is not very good. Uh, New Africa seems to have some problems there. Um, let me take a look with this. Uh, Ban the terraform. New Africa is partially terraformed by some thousands of years old, but process was interrupted by unknown reasons. Um, Complicated and abandoned terraforming. Okay, let's uh, resume the process and see how it's gonna affect the uh, environment there. As we know, our recent survey indicates that residents of New America are much less likely than other distance of the United Nations salt to migrate to other planets. The survey does not address whether this could be due to a psychological dependency on the low level sensory arousal caused by the marine carrion and its sibling plants. Yeah. Okay, so they don't want to uh, uh, go anywhere. Okay, fine with that. Fine with me. Uh, right. Uh, general. Uh, yeah, I I think we're gonna need some new uh, guy here. Guido Russ or Christopher Arnold. Yeah, he's our new general with that. <coughs> so yeah, I, I guess the gameplay is quite nice if I, uh, you know, tone down some of stuff, uh, some of the settings. So uh, I'm still running on normal speed here, uh, compared back uh, on my last playthrough where it's already the, uh, uh, put in under. I already put it under the settings of the fastest. While productivity is no longer declining on the planet, communications between the colony on New Amsterdam and the capital on Sanctuary are breaking down. Senior officials on New Amsterdam are growing increasingly distant and our clerks are, com are complaining that we are allowing simple drinks to become exercise in frustration. Okay, well, just uh, sign with that. I don't know, uh, maybe it's uh, people are getting lazy with the marine car and Construction stuff. complete. Right. Um, Recon has completed. Okay, uh, what's this? Yidra. Well, we could get this one, Yidra. Yeah, Yidra could be a very good area. Taking evasive action. Mineral operations. Huh. Okay, who's our general secretary who took office on New Year's Day? Or, uh, oh well. Oh, uh, General Secretary Paulina Sanchez died in his office at the age of 87. So we're just gonna write that down as a state funeral uh, for the one of the most uh, wartime. Uh, General secretaries during the human Mithfell war. And who's going to replace her? Uh, the results. So for the moment, we don't have any uh, replacements. Jose Antonio Perez. It should be Josefa. But, uh, yeah, I'll just. Uh, no, I'll just keep the name original. So for now, the position Special is vacant. Special project complete. <laughs> Married Karen. Far-reaching change to the time management programs and the way responsibility delegated within all fields of production and other duties of New Esther have produced good results. The populace has an evident desire outside of service would call it an outright need to be in close proximity with the native flora. With clever scheduling and additional checks in place, productivity remains low but has risen to a Above the lower limit of what can be this acceptable. So for now, it's just acceptable. <laughs> it's low, but within acceptable limits. Okay, uh. Yeah, let's build an outpost in Yidra. <laughs> Alright, um. Okay, uh. We'll the, go with a science vessel here. <laughs> So for now, we got the uh, 
Daniel Bosque, Bosque or something. Uh, what do you call this? 18 months. Uh huh. Probably have to boost up with our equipment with our army here. Okay, so that should do. Okay, um, yeah. Okay, and we'll also need to boost up our uh, fleet here. Music. Okay, Yelena Makarov has been declared as the General Secretary of United Nations of Seoul during New Year's Day of 2250. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, technically, it's already mid game from the looks of it, but I'm not sure if mid game will arrive on 2250. It could be on or off. Uh, And um, there is still no. Uh, huh. Okay. Um, oh, looks like they're having a nasty war here. Uh huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh huh. Defensive pack. So we're uh, currently um, um, in neighbors with the Midfell and the Irisu, basically an avian species as well. Both of them. It's a good thing that they're xenophobic isolationists and they're pacifists. Okay, and, and uh, what's this? Uh, tubular alien entity entered in the orbit of Asiatica. No warning or, exp or explanation. It appears to be moving through the engine thrusters, aiding complete silence throughout the world. Aggression. If we use the knowledge, our hails. Our military warned that it may pose a considerable threat to the inhabitants below and implore us with bring this neutralization power calls. Our scientists, however, plead that we. <sighs> yeah, we should study it first and see what is its nature. New sit rep. Um, we don't know what this guy does. <coughs> So for the moment, most of our science team here are busy doing all st stuff. The society here is resuming a terraforming process while the other is uh, building an enigmatic guest. So we better be careful with that. Okay, fringe, element, fringe elements on New Amsterdam have banded together to form a quasi-religious organ seeking to control the aspect of the maritime flower and its cultivation. Their leader, a self-styled green hero plant of his flower temple, claims to speak for all flora and fauna from New Amsterdam and demands exclusive trading rights in the plant. This is of course completely unacceptable and impossible as the native flora of New Amsterdam is little strategic or economic value and thus must not be brought off world by law. Unfortunately, we are unlikely to accept this fact gracefully. Uh, there's some sort of uh, cult in Marin Karen thing. Okay, we got another uh, death here. Um, what's this? Oh, Yasmin Herbert died. The war hero of the uh, human uh, mythal war. Died at the age of 92 on February 16, 2015. <laughs> Um, not Antonio Perez, um, this guy, Mercedes, Mercedes de la Cruz, that's, uh, I Andrew Stanley, I think I'll go for Andrew Stanley. Okay, Yidra. Uh, okay, um, Yidra's now in a tight bind here. Um, now we're not gonna allow our borders to be open. So, uh, we just probably have to sell with this. Move here. Okay, uh, just give me a moment. It's a deal. Uh, 2000. Oh boy, how do I deal with this? Okay, let's just sell everything. Yeah, I'll go sell with that. And a little bit of this. 
Well, we're not gonna go for the food here, um, but... Okay, it's a deal. <laughs> so we're just, uh... So demographic-wise... Uh, okay, so that's good. Ah, marrying Karen, beginning of policy. The Flower Temple and his followers now make up a sizable minority of the public in New Amsterdam, and the reports indicate a disturbing change in its movement. Their future attempts to smuggle Mary Karen's specimen off world have been growing less enthusiastic by the day. As the Flower Temple seems to be transitioning into a doomsday cult, there is likely a correlation with the recent changes in the Mary Karen's falling chemical makeup detected by atmospheric sensors. A special project can be prepared to assess the risk associated with this and as recommend complete before something has Yeah, we need, we need to uh Great. Have to uh recall one science vessel here. Um okay, you should stop your investigation first. And Vittoria Coppello will uh, have to be redirected. To uh, that. Okay. Construction complete. Right. Uh, wonderful. Okay. Um. Construction complete. Okay. Where's this one? Right. Sika. Okay. Right. Um. That's okay. Oh my, look at the time. So I just have to save this one again. Um, <coughs> this will be uh, UNS episode 02, uh, letter C. There we go. And I'm going to save this on my OBS here. And uh, yeah, uh, just to keep things, uh, you know, uh, recorded. Okay, uh, right, uh, let's resume our, uh, gameplay there, we just, uh, okay, let's continue, um, oh, oh my, I am now in negative, uh, okay, uh, positive 4, okay, uh, that's, okay, scientist Boyang, the age of 90, um, okay, who are we going to replace here, uh, Claudia Gusto or Mikhail uh, Markova. Let me go for Markova. Alright, so uh, let's go. Uh, I always have. Oh, uh, Patron of the Arts. We just paid you 2000 a few moments ago. Uh, Mr. Inger, yeah, we'll uh, deal with you later on right now. We are kind of in a budget. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, really okay. Uh, sorry, Mr. Bird, but uh, we're kind of low on uh, almost everything here right now. Um, the uh, UNS right now is uh, kind of um, uh, what do you call this? Uh, suffering from new uh, from economic depression right now. <laughs> we got the negative. Uh, uh, we got a negative uh, stuff here. So, Special uh, project complete. Okay, what's this? Disaster averted. Quickly and decisive action follow us to identify the risks associated with the rapid change in the poly native to New Amsterdam and take the necessary steps. The necessary steps were a complete planetary evacuation and a planned wide tactical pesticide bombing run targeting the mine carrying flower and its ink. And it's ick. The plants were rapidly mutating and their unique pollen would have been not been destroyed. Sina began diverting a pollen neurotoxin to the olfactory organs of all sacred light of New Amsterdam. So in other words, it's a poison. Uh, the scientists on the colonization council theorized that this part of a natural cycle on New Amsterdam and the pollen's adverse effects on us is a form of crumbling local administration. Yeah, of course. It's an aphrodisiac in its... Uh, you know, in its mild form, but if it's in its mold form, it's more like a neurotoxin. 
and that the poem has adverse effects on us in the form of oh yeah, the risk of the flower temple cult and eventually sorry about the high pitch <laughs> I uh, got distracted by my cat an eventual polytoxicity where the chance side effects rather than the product of a plant's sinister self-defense mechanism oh so it's genetically engineered the rest of our <coughs> Okay, so it's not caused by the evolution, it's size, it's more like a genetic engineered. Regardless, any traces of the flower have been wiped from the plant service and our colonies are safe and free from the pollen's influence. All swell and swell. Okay, that's good. It's now averted. So for those who are encountering the Marin Karen in the future, uh, so uh, the hero for now is the UNS Crimson Vittoria Capello. Because, uh, what? Victoria? That's a girl name. Well, anyway, uh, so, uh, you know, I'll just include that on the lore that she, uh, he, uh, discovered, uh, uh, the toxicity of that, and he was recalled from his investigations in the new Africa terraforming project. So, yeah, I'll just, uh, probably edit that, uh, later on in the story um, okay we got a visitor here raw minutes construction Who's... complete uh, oh okay okay uh, this is the uh, who's this guy uh, well bubble minutes I have no idea with that Okay, this is the colonist uh, headed for the uh, uh, agriculture world here. Now, I'm currently having a negative uh, credits, and what's worse is a negative food. So yeah, um, economic depression is now being <laughs> see, uh, seen here in... Uh, uh, it's now being spread uh, throughout the UNS. Uh, this is not good. Um, Zaraya. Yeah, I'll probably have to colonize this one again, but right now all colonizations are halted due to uh, ongoing famine. So that's not good. There's also the... Uh, Okay, uh, for now, uh, Mithfell is not exactly a threat right now. As Mithfell have some uh, rebellion problems lately. Yeah, they're kind of war. Uh, they kind of stumble into their own uh, mini civil war. For now, I'm just building some mining stations here that might help uh, elevate economic depression. Uh, who's this guy? Crushing cruiser. Uh, oh, the caravan. Okay, uh, they're kind of funny, right? Yeah, I probably have to uh, assign this one. Chores compass. Uh, yeah, famine is now currently a, a problem right now. Food shortages. Uh, great, great. I'll probably have to. Uh, yeah, we entered currently into a famine wide. Uh, um, okay, who are we going to do? Uh, what's this one? The bureaucrats. Khalid Alazami. Yeah, he's the one who's gonna manage that. So, okay, uh, so we have a minor uh, uh, issue here, I guess. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, just give me a moment here. Um, to elevate the food sources right now, we need a hydroponics farm here. Okay, what's this? 
Okay, Charles Compass is being uh, investigated. So for now, um, this is a problem. Um, uh, we got 360. Yeah, let's buy a little bit of this. Um, okay, uh, for now, our main concern is the food. Uh, okay, right, uh, we're gonna go for hydrophonic farms or something. Okay, uh, um, yeah, we're having our personal uh, issues here at the moment. So, probably we have a uh, spread too thin here at. Okay, uh, let me check the edicts here. Um, we should have some sort of uh, uh, capacity boosters. Yeah, we should activate that. That might uh, help, I guess. Do, 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 do. Oh no, uh, we should not activate that. Uh, so how long do, do we Construction have? Construction complete. 31 months, okay. Special project complete. Aboard the terraform has been completed with all of its results. Whatever alien life forms designed, their physiological was radically different than ours. It has been modified with ozone. Uh, depleted strategy to support life requiring high levels of ultraviolet radiation. Millions of colleagues have suffered a gruesome death as a result. Oh my god! New Amps, New Africa. Ah. Uh was destroyed oh jesus christ the colonist was killed uh, we're not gonna settle with that that's too uh currently uh uh it's a ecological disaster i'll probably write that down uh we're and now we're suffering from famine this is a problem right now Uh, probably have to go for a col colony here. <sighs> okay, I'll better think of a solution for that. Uh, this is a disaster. So we just lost the colony New Africa to some terraforming alien process, and now, uh, but the prob the problem with that is that New Africa is an agricultural world, which now sets some famine right now. Uh, throughout the whole uh, United Nations of Seoul. Uh, right, this is not very good. Um, uh, we have limited uh, areas here right now. So I will just build three of them. Yeah, I guess that's supposed to be doing right now. Uh, we'll just keep this one here, our first and second fleet. Construction complete. Uh, I'm not sure if we would join our galactic community here. Frankly, I'm not exactly sure if I should join. But after all, Earth has already been gone, or at least uh, uh, the only human settlement right now is this one on this dwarf galaxy. So, uh, huh, several spacefaring errors have some known to us have bonded together to form a galactic. Hmm. Well, we could join. 
Although we were not involved in funding the United the other members of extended invitation. Huh. Okay, we'll just join, but as an observers, we have little or nothing to do with to the galactic community, where diplomats from around the galaxy meet to decide galactic law by voting on resolutions. You can support proposed resolutions from the queue, which will add your diplomatic weight to its total support. The okay. resolution with the most support in the queue will move onto the Senate floor once it is in Two, session. Three, four, five, there it will be voted seven, on whether nine, it should ten. become galactic law. So right now we just have only 10 civilizations here right now. Which is, um, well yeah, just to keep my gameplay very fast. Uh, on my previous gameplay where I almost have 30. <laughs> but this one is just 7. So, uh, yeah, uh, well, um, click leave. No, we're not going to leave the galactic community. Uh, yeah. This can be assigned to the galactic community to increase the Senate floor. Uh, no, we're not gonna go that. So we just anyway. Uh, story-wise, this is just only a dwarf galaxy. It's not the Milky Way galaxy. It is dwarf elliptical. So it's expected that the uh, that the galaxy isn't exactly that habitable, or I mean, not that well populated. So how small is this dwarf galaxy? We don't know. I'm still picking on the lore on that, and I'm still writing a uh, writing on uh, the story on how to do that. But uh, anyway, yeah, um, <coughs> okay, uh, right, uh, where was I? Yeah, so far uh, we got some problems because, uh, <laughs> oh my god, it, uh, economic depression has happened and New Africa was... Uh, uh, Our pioneers have made planet fall. Inbound message traffic. Okay, uh, luckily, uh, there were... Uh, some aliens here that are friendly, like the Ganojan Confederate Nations. They even extended their uh, non-aggression pack. Okay, uh, we'll like to meet with these guys. Uh, where are they? Oh, uh, okay, right, right, right. So currently, uh, there's some, there's the warring Mitfell, uh, but they're kind of busy on war with the Azanti Confederacy. Um, Where's those guys? Okay, they're democratic and cordial. Uh, let's engage with. The okay, um, we'll establish an, emb uh, an embassy and then open our borders with them. At least be friendly with. So there we go. So uh, they're currently at war and they're seeking their uh, allies with the Ferbantian. I don't know what this. We haven't met them personally, but it seems that to be a bad, uh, bad bud with them. So they seeking to in ingratiate themselves, or uh, you know, a police international, <laughs> or the galactic community, and seeking allies. <laughs> Which of course it's more like a practical, uh, you know, a practical, uh, a practical uh, diplomatic ties because uh, they're kind of having some problems with other Xeno neighbors themselves. <laughs> Okay. So far, there's a non-aggression, so we're okay with that. Construction complete. Uh, where's this one? Uh huh. So handy. Okay, we'll just uh, build some minings over there. <laughs> Okay, what do we got? Hadam has joined the... Uh, I don't know what this one. Hadam Multitude. Guardian and... Okay, uh, we're gonna go for a little bit of uh, uh, doing some political stuff The resolution here. screen is the list of the currently enacted resolutions. Okay. You may propose a new resolution by selecting it from a resolution chain, which will cost you influence. No, we're not gonna go for buzzword. Yeah, we're now gonna form the galactic market, and that is the first thing that we're going to do. 
So it is a meaning of ten most powerful uh, nations or stellar nations in this in this elliptical galaxy. So far, the galaxy doesn't have a name. It's just only NGC something. Uh, I mean, in local. Uh, Huh. I mean, uh, okay. Uh, we're still currently having some problems with food, with the loss of the new Africa colony. Science division. Oh wait, wait, wait! wait. We got a car of veneers here. Okay, we got some uh, square rocks. The Vigagian, the Vulgarian Trium. Uh, greetings from the Regatta Ethereum, certified Caravaneer traders of the Caravan Sea Caravan Coalition. We bring you exclusive products from the latest uh, corners of the galaxy as we're produced by our shipboard factories at affordable prices. Whenever we enter your territory, we will offer you an exclusive deal. Unfortunately, our ships are all outside your territory for the moment, but we look forward for doing business in the future. In the meantime, do not hesitate to contact us, but be aware that incoming calls will be rerouted to the Caravan Sea Car Caravan Coalition. Wow, you know, he sounds like more like a telemarketer. Okay, maybe next time. Oh, what do we got here? My favorite uh, Xeno because it's furry and small. The Racket Industrial uh, Enterprise. Okay, let's see what we're... So uh, what we got here is greetings to you humans from the Racket Industrial Enterprise. We are brokers, deal makers who have traveled the stars from trade station Tungo. We pass through your space in peace, only to buy, to sell, we will offer you good deals, many things. Just now, our ships are absent. We will speak to you soon, when we come back. Should you call us, the Caravan, the Caravan, the Caravan Coalition will answer. Wow, okay, fine, we'll look forward to that. <coughs> okay, so that's good. Now we got some plasma thrower, we're gonna go with this one, listening post. So for now, we're going to launch uh, Onira Dosica, a new shipyard. But we don't have the uh, necessary, uh, you know, necessary. Construction complete. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to build one here. So yeah, I guess it's a bit complicated right now uh, on what's going on here. Um, it's probably because uh, currently the um, what do you call this? Uh, the United Nations of Seoul is having an econo uh, economic depression after the war. So uh, yeah. Uh. Uh, anyway, this is gonna be the last 30 minutes for now, and after that, I'm going to take. Um, you know, a short break here just to refresh myself. Uh, we've been playing for two hours, and you know, it's I'm not exactly a die-hard gamer. I'm more like the casual gamer. The great battle we're gonna be grandly in the first of the first league, and another uh, fleet took place not far from here, some two million years ago. The gravity wall of the colony has since captured much of the left by a human. <laughs> All right, all right. You sit back. Yeah, well, fortunately for me, there's a science vessel nearby, and it's Victorio Capello. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, it's related to this one uh, on the former New Africa colony. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, more like uh, uh, probably have to. Uh, Rewrite the script here later for the, for those guys on what happened uh, on the, some terraforming accidents. <laughs> Not a very good thing, uh, honestly. So for now, uh, food is being manufactured on the two industrial areas, New Europa and uh, oh, okay, the Gregorian and Stormrider Prime, which is basically. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, <coughs> we currently have an economic depression right now, but we can't really uh, 
you know, uh, downsize our uh, military because of the threats from the Mitfell. Currently, the Mitfell uh, himself has uh, some sort of war, uh, currently fighting a civil war. So we still got six colonies here. Um, yeah, uh, this is a problem right now in my uh, in here. Okay, uh, Arnold Shafter uh, died. Um, we just have to replace this little uh, little dude here with some guy, just a park Kusada or something. Just a park Kusada, yeah. We're, we're good with that. Special project complete. Oh, interesting find. Okay, uh, he did finish it, so I'm just going to... Oh wait, there's nearby here. Research. <laughs> Has developed a new skill. Yeah, okay. <sighs> yeah, we'll just have to build some outposts here. So, uh, despite the continuing ongoing economic depression, uh, the United Nations of Seoul is still. Um, uh, what's this? A mysterious alien entity has entered our. It would be determining its purpose here as soon as possible. Uh, what's this? Uh, enigmatic guess. The victory screen lists certain conditions that we can strive to fulfill to Ooh. ensure that the legacy of our star nation will endure for as long as there is intelligent life in the galaxy. Uh, there's no Uri remnant here. One, two. Okay. Uh, so far we're just oh. Uh, we just uh, totally the total civilizations fighting in this map is just 18, so it's just half of. Uh... Okay, well at least it's okay. Um, I'm not gonna have suffer from slowdown right now here because of that, and frankly, uh, yeah, that's the main reason why I have to make a second playthrough here because you know slowdown is a serious issue on my gameplay. Okay, um, so far we're still having an economic depression. Construction complete. And we're still uh, continuing our expansion here. Um, Greenland, we'll just call this one New Greenland. Yeah, I keep, you know, ha having a nasty habit of naming something in a country and then uh, put it in New. And uh, coincidentally enough, New Greenland is also an Arctic world, which is uh, Greenland, if I, uh, if I recall correct on my ge geography class, is also uh, somewhere in the uh, Arctic Circle or something. I know it's way up north. Uh, Greenland is way up north, so uh, I expect that there things are a little bit cold. Okay, uh, a closer scan of the debris field around the Illustria 4 has led to the discovery of an Arctic airtight capsule containing an atomic clock that measured the time in unparalleled precision. It has a frequent certainty solar that it will be another 879 million years before it gains a single second. <coughs> so it's very accurate. And it is counting down to the date 42 years and 3 days away. Uh, the capsule holds no clues as to what the date signifies or who owns her, but it seems that someone out there has lost track of the time. Yeah, I think we should um, keep an eye on this because it's a barren planet, so uh, if it explodes, it's not going to be any problem because nobody inhibits it. So we'll just keep an eye on it. Oh, it's on New Amsterdam sector. Okay. Okay, uh, we are in, the, in for the first time we are being invited for the creation of uh, to form the galactic markets. So yeah, there's only a few members here. And after all, this isn't the Milky Way. 
this is the uh, elliptical galaxy NGC I don't know something and in other words it doesn't have a name yet just a number <laughs> so okay uh, right uh, we got a lot of minerals so uh, um, but we totally uh, okay I'm just gonna sell some uh, this is really oh well I, well I don't really have any uses for boats right now uh, so okay I'm just gonna go for a shipyard here okay there we go just to build up a huge uh, corvette fleet here um, food uh, so we're still construction complete yeah, we're trying to recover from economic depression here caused by the war. Huh. Okay, uh, right. Uh, Sahara is uh, pretty much, uh, I don't know, um, we'll be reassigned, I guess. So for now, the... Uh, the uh, <coughs> what do you call this? The UNS attention now of terraforming colonization is on its northern border borders, on the galactic north. If already secured, and uh, it's heavily patrolled as well of military fleets. So uh, the borders on the south is from the Mithril. Okay, our general secretary came in, and uh, all right. So who's the general secretary? Oh, the general secretary Yelena Makarov just died. Uh, she's 94 years old and I'm going to sign a new uh, I don't know uh, new governor here I'm just gonna recruit a new admiral as well a new general as well and a new scientist I just keep one space here uh, available one vacant so just to curvy up the flavor of the elections uh, so our uh, so yeah, I'll just let the, uh, the computer decide that. Uh, I don't want to meddle. So anyway, um, we're just going to have a short break here. Or uh, just to refresh ourselves. I'm just going to write this down. UNS episode 02, uh, letter D. So there we go. <laughs> and I'm going to save this on uh, my OBS here. So uh, yeah. Uh, uh, let's have a short break for a while and uh, I'm going to refresh myself after this. Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, what turned out to be a couple of hours break turned into days. <laughs> so I uh, kind of uh, switched off my PC because it won't be good if I uh, left it for days. So I just uh, restarted my PC right now <laughs> and uh, figured that uh, you know let's continue where we left off. I still got an hour of recording at least. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's proceed. Um, currently, uh, I am now negative 113, but I'm not sure on my last uh, uh, situation that I am negative 13. It must have been some problems with the uh, computer, but uh, anyway. So let's continue. I'm still using normal speed. Oh, there's a commercial pack between the Azanti Confederacy and... Uh, okay, well, anyway, that's none of our business. Okay. Oh, Vittorio Capello just got killed. Well, it might be some... Uh, how about Andrea Hoffman or Catalina de la Cruz? You know, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why they always name guys to girls. So uh, it must have been an error. Anyway, um, okay, where is this guy doing? Okay, I'm just going to put him on a research uh, status there. Uh, okay, general secretary is underway. Okay. Oh yeah, Yelena Makarov just died. Uh, so it's currently the post is currently vacant so uh yeah okay uh a group of large predators okay just give me a second here i'm just going to uh 
um, the volume is quite, uh, oh, there we go. I just adjusted the volume. Okay, this will cost the less. Okay, sure. Do your thing. And I'm still limited to... Special project complete. Okay, uh, despite extensive research, the ignited cache and its origin are still shrouded in mystery. Though it is definitely not organic in nature, it is not entirely machine either. It appears to be preoccupied mainly with gathering, storing, and encoding of data. <coughs> its surface is covered with hundreds of thousands of minuscule scratches and dents in which have discovered traces of a compound that is alien in our galaxy. Intriguing. So yeah, um... Right, I'm just going to go for advancing uh, way up here until uh, Epsilon Signy or something. So for now, um... Yeah, I can... Oh, okay, who's the new, uh... Oh, Khalid Al-Hazami has been elected as General Secretary of the United Nations of Seoul. Okay, that's good. Good for us. Um... Yeah. So currently, I'm still on the negative 20. Um, uh, okay, uh, Camila Zani will just hire a new guy. Hamza Sasani. And Harlan Gorman. I'll go Harlan. Okay. Okay, non aggression packing. Okay, they break non aggression with no longer interest. And. Where are you guys? Okay, well, that's fine. They have to travel a long way just to, um, you know, make a non aggression thing. Curious. Okay. Uh, this is the Huntress. I'll curious on. I have assembled the Huntress. She was apparently their more efficient killer. Supposedly wielding the fabled Blade of the Huntress. Okay, yeah, sure. So for the moment, I'm negative on energy. I'll probably have to build two of these and then two of these. Construction complete. Okay, uh, what do we got here? Okay, let's uh, switch on pops here. Um, we'll go for this one. And uh, New Amsterdam is a factory world. Uh, but I don't have enough uh, credits. So that's not really good right now. Okay, uh, that's that's fine with me. I'm currently having a pop growth issue. It's just a D6. Construction complete. So there's a possibility that. Uh... Okay. Rathalene too frequently experiences massive and extremely violent sandstorm atmosphere. Several dozen persistent storms are available over, means reaching a speed of excess of 700 miles per second or meters per second. The cause of these storms is not major. Okay, well that's okay. So I'm already uh, 2255 right now. Hopefully there's not like, gonna be a middle crisis soon, or at least uh, not that I know of, because. Uh, um, I don't know, but I think the numbers are just right that I, I think the numbers of uh, 2250 and 2350 would be the end game crisis. I think it's only right because, uh, I don't know, the gameplay here is kinda... We have claimed oh. a new world. Uh, it's kinda, I don't know, uh, you know, the a computer here just has some delays. Okay, Silent Manifold Intelligent Research Link uh, versus the German Mission. We shall see which empire is stronger. I'm not sure if that is a robot war or. Okay, uh, we'll start off with. I think New Greenland is, uh, is now our agricultural sector, if I recall correct. Unfortunately, I don't have terraforming technology yet from the looks of it. Okay, good, uh, good for them. So right, um, yeah, hopefully I'm not gonna go uh, a little bit of infighting here. Now we're not gonna guarantee your independence. 
a good thing that the only way towards my space is this towards the Irisu Galactic Commonality and my still um, enemy here uh, this guy the Midfeld uh, Kingdom anyway um, right I'm still lower about on my uh, I have problems with my food and energy credits right now uh, this is really you know the, I guess that's the problem if you have a very low population uh, probably I'll try next time that I'll fill half the galaxy just half the nations but mostly the pops will be pop, uh, will fill yeah I think that'll be good on my next playthrough uh, but for now I have to finish two of these uh, two of my current playthroughs right now the United Nations of Seoul and the Sila Colonial Government which I'll probably have to finish the end game later on uh, all right, but anyway, let's continue. But I'm really satisfied on how fast my gameplay right now is, compared to the Sila Colonial Government that it will take li literally 30 minutes just to load up my game. The game here loads just at least almost 15 minutes, and that's not an issue because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve nations only here. As compared to my uh, previous gameplay, I have three times much of it. So it's a very small. Anyway, lore-wise, this is a very small galaxy. It's not the Milky Way, so it's the Fornax galaxy. I just finished writing the script or earlier scripts of this. So uh, construction complete. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, oh my! What's this? Or caretaker division. Who are these little fellas? Gardening drone. Okay, so they do gardens. We don't know. Wankworth. Okay, well, Wankworth is very, um, to be honest, very, um, what do we call this? Uh, very suitable. So, okay, fine. Where's my second uh, fleet here? UNS fleet. I'm sure they're around here somewhere. <laughs> Ah, okay, they're already here. So the only one available for dispatch is the third one. Oh, Clay Evans. Yeah, I think I'll have another one. How about this guy? John, Jonah, Jonah Burr or something. So I have to uh, this, let's see if we can fight this one. After all, it's oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't selecting. Right, okay. Um, see if I can fight this one. Uh, it's a very long travel, 987. I think he can make it. Oh my god, it's very... Uh, you know, I'm really surprised that my... Uh, uh, you know, my uh, AI here has uh, expanded quite a lot. On only just a short time, and uh, in my case, I'm still here, just you know, trying to secure my borders here. Anyway, hopefully, there's not gonna be a disaster fight with these guys. Theory Irisu. Well, we have equivalent uh, fleet and equivalent economy, so uh, not gonna worry about them. Um, Okay, uh, what do we got? Uh, Starbase uh, lacking. So we just kind of need uh, an energy production and... Yeah, okay, sure thing. Yeah, fourth world. This one's an angry world. Um, unfortunately, several worlds are unavailable right now, like New Africa, which I'm gonna have to play back my old uh, game uh, <laughs> after what happened. Seems that they kind of blew up. Independence guaranteed. Mid fell. Okay, it seems that probably they were too weak, or probably they don't have enough military forces. I guess. Uh, huh, yeah, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, I already got that. My economy's not really doing good right now. Uh, 
Yeah. I guess that's the main problem I have right now. Mm -hmm. I'm currently stretching too thin. Do anything. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, listening post. That's good. Um, how about FDL inhibitors? We need that. Yeah, we'll go for FDL inhibitors, uh, and then uh, that'll be needed in case we make fortress habitats. So uh, we have to place a fortress habitat here in Hydra one day, just to guard our borders. Uh, I don't have to worry about LKs being outflanked or outmaneuvered, so I can only expect enemies from two sides here, from the south and the north. Nothing else, I don't even see a gateway to be honest, so... Uh, uh, I'm good with that. Uh, uh, actually, I should have gotten the uh, tech level hit to 0 0.75, make it a little bit faster. Um, okay, well. Oh, Jesus. This is supposed to be uh, complete. a forge world, so I'll this one and then. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll just go here. Just close all the borders if possible. So uh, I'm just gonna give this one a little bit, uh, take a peek on the victory session. So I'm not the number one, I'm more like on the bottom four. Uh, the only remnant, this one is uh, the one who's leading. Probably is Sajor Manifold, Kellen's Republic, Fallar Kingdom, Visu Galactic Community. Uh, okay, so the Midfell is even superior in my case. Uh, well, as long as they don't cheat anyway. And they can't cheat because there's no victory here. It's basically our last uh, kingdom or last uh, planet standing. That's the only condition of victory here. Oh. Okay, well, I'm currently beefing up New Greenland for uh, as an agri world. So, yeah. Construction complete. Okay, uh, yeah, okay. That's okay. Do your stuff. Um, mining core. We got some several mining cores here that needs to be eliminated. So, uh... <coughs> wait, wait, wait. I think I'll just set <coughs> my star base here. We have no idea about this. There's a relic here that's called Crash Starship. So we need to get our hands on that, whatever that might hold or something. Uh, guaranteed. Stop it, gang. Okay, I guess the Genosha Confederated Military. Oh, Jesus. Uh, right, I'll probably sell you these. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll uh, sell some. Uh, I should keep me afloat. Um, yeah, that's a little bit issue I have on my consumer goods. Okay, um, here's the thing. Um, New Amsterdam. It's a factory world, obviously. I wonder if I could authorize the uh, use of androids or robots here. Man. Ah, great. Um, just recruit some guy here. I guess Anne Lee will be okay. Look at that mustache. Uh huh. So we're good. So we got positive 89, which is good. The only problem we have now is food. Uh, we got a very high crime rate at the moment, so uh, we'll buy a little bit of this. Um, where was I? 
Yeah, I'll, I'll buy law enforcement just to get rid of that uh, crime thing. Currently, crimes are getting a big issue right now. Uh, almost on the uh, heavily populated colonies of the UNS. Okay, uh, right. Okay, everybody Construction looks complete. Wait, wait, we just died. Right, okay, I'll find this. Ah, uh, I'll say Maria de la Guardia. Yeah, that's a long name. I think I can handle that anyway. So I'm just gonna buy a little bit of uh, uh, consumer goods here. Okay, just to lower the uh, crime, I'll go for construction complete. Yeah, I'll probably go for a precinct, unfortunately. Just to ensure there's, uh... Okay. So I got a very low population right now. Um... Yeah, I probably have to boost that with, uh, Plantitude or something. Okay, what do we got? Uh, probably have to send him up here, Golden Outpost. So right now, I don't have any. Okay, I don't have any. Um, her heart. I'm just going to. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is a thing. Okay. Um. I guess I'm going to Yeah, I'll put him here. Research. James Cook's already uh, excavating the site, so we got more than enough scientists to uh you know handle that stuff. Okay, I'll just put it up here. Um there's no point. Okay, um yeah. Right. New sit -round. Okay, there's a situation here. Uh, it's a regrettable fact that we consistently fail to quash the illicit trade with the Xenos. Equally regrettable is that the economic benefits of a largely anonymous forum for trade decoupled from international relations cannot be denied. In the coming years, the, the independent traders and government agencies will be looking to establish quasi-centralized hub for galactic commerce. The economic gains from playing host to such a nexus might outweigh the burden of harboring alien goods, so we can choose to promote one of our laws for this purpose. <laughs> yeah, okay, I don't see any problems with that. Um, I, I don't think it would hurt, so uh, let's check if we got enough. Uh, yeah, okay, right. It's about uh, 1,000 nominate this planets. I'm currently uh, not very good with 1,000 right now. Um, yeah, I'll probably have to give him something here. Um, right, okay, I'll just sell this guy, okay? See if uh, what's the benefits of this, but... Uh, okay, we'll see if uh, it's, it will be very... Uh, uh, it will be uh, very well. <coughs> well, it will be very uh, fruitious for the uh, UNS. Honestly, I shouldn't be doing that. I, the influence would have been more safe in building more uh, military forts rather than that. But uh, trade isn't exactly bad. <laughs> Construction complete. Okay, what's this? Okay, I'm just gonna close some borders here. Then finish off this one. So just... Yeah, I'm just basically doing some closing borders here. 
So for now, I'm getting positive too. Um, okay, uh, sonified science with this. The US radar crew has succeeded in isolating a signal embedded within the usual pattern interface in Yolta system. The signal is strong, a complex sonification of advanced mathematical equation to be precise. In one that science officer Javier de la Vega cannot seem to get out of their head. Who or what may have composed this song remains unknown. Though its complexity infers an incredible level of technological sophistication regarding subspace harmonic. Okay, yeah, well, well whatever that case. Also, um, wait. Uh, Greenland would be nice. Uh, I'll probably have to put them as a settler world. Nah, I think this. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll just leave some train use as a, some sort of hub here. A solo hub. Kinda need that anyway. Some sort of a. Okay, uh. Minute situation. Well, there isn't, uh. Well, we could research this. Drone study is also well. Okay, what's this? Uh, general, uh, okay. Um, how about Ingrid Sower? Or Esteban Rosar Rosario? Okay, we got a um, guy's name on a girl. This is really seriously getting messed up, to be honest. Um, cards in the military, I guess it's about time I be upgrading this one. Um, yeah. Just reinforce this one. Ah, God, we got someone dying left and right here. Ah, we don't. I'm sorry. What's uh, what's that? Fleet action underway. Uh, okay, so he's currently uh, doing some. Right, there's the Battle of Wayworth. We'll just want to see how this one. Okay, so we'll just kill him. Uh, I mean, uh, sorry, not kill him. Uh, we'll just take a look on the battle with this one. Right. Okay, so I guess that's enough. Construction complete. Okay, alright. Uh, Right, um, let me check this guy. Um, okay, I don't have enough unity. Uh, 950. I still have to wait a month for this guy. Okay, so I got several planets here. Um, okay, transit returns. Uh, Let's see with the edicts. Okay, I got none. Alright, um, Okay, I'll just... Where's the nearest? Okay. Okay, I'll probably have to recruit some, uh... Um, Martin Becker, nice. So he'll she'll continue the uh, excavation on that part. Um, yeah. oh, what's this? The relic ship. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, fine with that. Ah, great. I got negative again. Ah. This is not good. I'm currently struggling with a lot of negatives right now. Yeah, I'll probably have to do that. Yeah, this still has a. Uh, Well, 
least I got almost, uh... Okay, um, for Greenland, I'm not sure if we could hire one. Okay, we'll go for our Voorhees or something. So I'll probably make, uh, some sort of vassal here. Or at least this one. You know. It's best I should, uh, have some sort of vassal. Um... Yeah, I'll probably have to do some vassals. Uh, it's like a support, uh, you know, a support Special government. Special project complete. Okay, uh, the cloud, the void clouds are, as far as human researchers can tell, among the oldest entities in the universe. They seem to have originated just <coughs> a scant few billion years after matter, as we know it first appeared. The tremendous forces of the young cosmos making something out of nothing. They would have been stars once, but were not. Explaining their apparent animal intelligence is more difficult, but the answer it might lie in the abnormally strong electromagnetic fields that they keep that keep them together. Another product of their primordial beginnings. It is not inconceivable that given enough time, the circulation of its strange stardust and gravitic fields align in a flexible approximation of neutral pathways. Moreover, the clouds seem to be receiving impulses from one of another, if not after communicating light years apart. Quantum entanglement is suspected to play a role in this phenomenon. Uh, I'll go for this one. This six jobs, just to add something. Uh, yeah, credit months is four months. Not very good. Um, I don't know. Maybe you add something. Here. Construction complete. What's this? Okay, uh, right, um, okay, well, we just probably have to go here, just fill out this, uh, area first. Uh, hmm. <coughs> well, we could slow it down. Yeah, I think try to slow it down. Attempts to scan the object in high-speed orbit of VR002 have been successful. Uh, the object quickly falls below VR0 horizon and its Calvin instruments are simply unable to keep it up. Uh, where, where was I? Sorry. Uh, pull. VRN's gravitational pull is strong, let alone does little to exclude the object's extreme momentum. Either the object itself possesses some extraordinary properties or there is some gravitational phenomena at work here. Okay, we'll try to slow it down. See how it, uh, uh, study it first. We don't know what's inside of it. Um, maybe some dead too. We don't know. But for time being, we have to, uh, okay, we search it. Uh, hopefully that's not gonna, uh, Okay, we'll just build it here. Probably in our case, we should go here. And I'm still struggling here. Um, okay, uh, I got New Greenland for the food, but... Uh, okay, um... So how about this? Uh, everybody's busy researching the project, so we're okay. Alright, um, it's already been 30 minutes, so I have to save this one for now. So we're probably moving our last 30 minutes before we end this session. Episode uh, 02, letter E. There we go. And I'm going to save this one on OBS. Um, Okay, just give me a moment here. Alright, that was uh, very quick, so let's continue on with our gameplay. So we're moving on to our last 30 minutes. Um, what we got here? Construction Six months complete. Yeah, okay. Right, Rana. Huh. Okay, um... Construction complete. Alright, we got Nordak. 
Um, probably go here or something. Yeah, I guess the main uh, issue right now for me is the population. My population is extremely low uh, on this gameplay, but if I added more of the population, uh, my gameplay would definitely suffer. So we don't want that. And definitely I don't want to repeat the mistakes that I made on my last uh, recorded Let's Play. Battle debris secured. Okay, what's this? Okay, uh, yeah, we're good with that. Yeah, relief. <laughs> Okay, we're just going to pull out our forces here, uh, the third fleet. Uh, we may never know. Um, okay, um, yeah, I'll probably have to send. Okay, fascinating. Um, ah, great, I still got a high crime right here for some reason. Uh, just give me a moment here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to reduce my crime rate here. Yeah. Really hate that when that happens. Okay, uh, right, that should do the trick and see if my uh, production here would be quite. Uh... Oh, okay, I'm. Uh, not very... Special project complete. Okay, so here's the thing. Um. Finally, our scientists managed to pick an alien box without compromising the container itself. By utilizing an advanced type of sonar, they have been able to identify its contents. The contents are puzzling, or at least expected. The box holds three small vials, each filled with an unknown liquid. The box is safe, but it will further research to understand how. Uh, Crank open the bus. Research of access accelerate our physics knowledge. And will give us... Uh, I think we'll go for physics here. New sit wrap. All right. Uh, there's some <coughs> cracking open the box. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if it it is uh, worth something. So yeah. Um, continental. Yeah. We could colonize this one, but currently I lack the resources right now. The virtual cell can now you subjugate. Oh no, that is not good. Corporate alliance. What was that thing? Where is the virtuous corporate alliance? Uh, oh, this is not very good. Uh, where is those guys located? Okay, they're ruthless capitalists, but the good news is that they're very far. You know, the thing here is that everybody hates me for some reason. I probably have to flex some muscles here. Yeah. Alright, so everybody wants to wage war again on me. This is not good. Uh, right. Okay, well, um, anyway, I'll proceed with this one. Sanctuary is okay. Uh, I got five crime weight, but uh, I don't know. I'm not very good right now uh, doing this. Currently, my neg I'm negative again on my. Uh, uh, the gameplay is not doing good right now. I'll be honest with that. So I just only have five, six planets, and that's not very good sign. Okay, what we got here? Um, basically, combining value magic with face of contrast, archaeologists finally able to pinpoint the last rest. Her claws still grasping on the perfectly healed purpose of sword. This might be the blade of hunters. The weapon is composed of an unknown material that is sharp enough. Curious. Okay, let's go. And who the. Um, okay, who's. Uh, yeah, the guy here. Uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, probably have to put this guy on the excavation site. This guy can do some excavations here. So yeah, I, I guess strategically we have to put our resources in defense here in this area. <laughs> Specifically these three um, areas there. We could concentrate our fortress worlds. 
Um, alright, everybody wants to get a piece of us. That's not very good. Uh huh, archaeological. Construction complete. Okay, goody goody. Um, yeah, okay, uh, do some mining here if it's possible. Uh, currently, I got some. Yeah, we'll try to colonize this one. I'll just need a little bit of cash right now. Uh, honestly, I'm not so sure why I'm having a lot of negative here. Okay. Sprawling slums. Yeah. So, uh, we, uh, I got a lot of uh, negatives right now, and that's not good looking, I'll be honest with that. Right, um... Okay, we'll just go with this one. Um... I don't know, we got some unity, but we have prosperity. Probably have to go target somewhere, I guess. Mercantile, I guess. Um, let's see. Cast the void or something like that. Yeah, we'll do mercantile or something. So, uh, yeah. Oh, great. So it causes value, I guess. I don't know why that keeps thing keeps popping up. Um, okay, let's check if they're... Okay, they're not really, uh... Anyway, we're, for now, we're not, uh... You know, we're not really much at war with them, so that's good. So, uh... Yeah, okay. <sighs> Everyone has a price. Yeah, of course. Uh, it belongs to the museum. It's gonna rip us out a hundred. Uh, we just probably have to sell this. Oh, great. Okay, fine. Um. Relics. Do we have any? This screen allows us to view and activate our relics, and also to enact decisions making use of minor artifacts. New sit rep. Okay, uh... Right. At least we got something out of this one. Um... Precursor sites. Okay, well, just, uh... Holding the ground, uh, fellowship. Well, we don't really have any cultists right now. Wait, wait, let me guess. Where's the cultist? Well, the cultist is right inside this space. Not very good, honestly. And, uh, and the Uri Remnant's not very happy among this cultist flagship. Founding the galactic market, uh, the relic available. So we're just gonna keep tabs with that. For the moment, I am not happy. I have these negative 77. Um, okay. Right, I am having a lot of uh, energy credits. Uh, what's this? Yeah, okay. Ah, Jesus. I don't know how to juggle my economy right now. Okay, um... How, what, how am I going to do this? Ah... Right. Uh, I'll probably have to finish this with uh, 
Yeah, I'll probably have to do with the energy grid, maybe. Well, this is a factory, so, uh... For now, we're just gonna go for Halo Theaters. Uh, what I'm being concerned is this one. Still got a very high crime rate right now. In other words, it's not good. Uh-huh, so you know. Yeah, okay, we're good with that. Uh, uh, well, we're still not uh, on the bankruptcy here. It's causing my ships are 47, station star 7, districts. So I got districts. Armies, it's needed. Special project complete. Okay, uh, this is this thing. As long as the sand has penetrated our outer material, three will be filled with green liquids. One red, one blue, one green. Uh, liquids are, e are less alien than the container of our scientists have identified them as prime green algae oh, modifications. For some reason, our beyond our scientists, the solutions are quickly deteriorating outside the alien container and we should be left to synthesize and apply them to our species. If we sell them, What exactly is okay? Well, let's try. Uh, well, our civilization right now is color green, so we'll try the green. Okay, uh, we got uh, bio adaptability, habitability, so we got an extra gene here. Bio this species has been modified to slightly more adaptive and can go into harsh environments. Okay, so it ha enhances humans. So probably I might go for the Ascension, Genetic Ascension track you know, in that case. I always wanted to try Genetic Ascension, so okay. We'll go for Genetic Ascension, uh, if we've got the time. Has the success of your will be based on primary solution. The solution appears to be improve our ability to adapt to the environment. Excellent, though. Construction complete. Okay, uh, good goody. Um, Yes, of course, but I'm still negative on the food and on the consumer goods. Well, I better keep that in mind. Uh, okay, um, where's the nearest? Right, time to colonize one mark. Okay, 22.61 April is not... Uh, well, it's not really that bad. There's no um, mid-game crisis yet for the moment, which, much to my relief, of course. And I don't think I'm ready for a mid-game crisis because it's 2261. Uh, Construction complete. Okay, uh, where are we got? Alright, uh, huh. Well, ah, great, pretty tea. Great, uh, this, as far as I know, this, these guys are determined. Oh, okay, uh, they're right on the south here. Quick in fear, aliens come, for your duel approaches. The pretty will cleanse this galaxy out of every misbegotten xeno civilization that pollutes it. Sanctuary shall burn. Wow, very, uh, Hmm, intimidating. <laughs> yeah, well, they're determined to exter exterminator, so there's no point in making a. Uh... You know, for once I thought uh, the Pikachu are boring, complete. but from the, this gameplay, I might assume that they might be an interesting species right now. I don't know. <laughs> but it will be, of course, like I said, it will still be. Um, you know, a matter of uh, science division report success. Okay, we're well, two more habitability. Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing. I probably will food supremacy. Maybe. Um. I'll go for this one. Research twenty percent. Oh. Okay. I still don't have destroyers. So okay, we're good with that. Okay, let's see if the uh, Prickety will uh, turn into a mass murdering uh, species later on. And from the looks of it, they're not, they're quite a bit far on my, <laughs> just a little bit edge of the border. Um, okay, <coughs> wonderful. I have, uh, okay, um, uh, I guess I'm still 21 months away from Unity. Uh, I'll rather keep this one, uh, 
Oh great. Those guys always keep uh casting. Construction spells. complete. Okay, goody goody. Uh well well. Yeah, I'm just gonna go move here and uh probably build uh I don't know, uh build something. Maybe an archaeological site. Okay, science and space. It is clear evidence that a massive space battle took place in this close orbit of Canmel at some point in the last 5,000 years. The surface of one side of the planet is packed, pockmarked with craters from stray weapons, <coughs> blast, and scans from the UNS Grissom have picked up several hulks on the ground. Though these wrecked ships in all are in very poor condition, the fact that anything reminds me that all after damage must have sustained is a testament to their uh, advanced design. Science officer Catalina de la Cruz is preparing an expedition to sift through these Futurella construct. Yeah. Okay, we'll just mount the graveyard. Uh, yeah, research it. Catalina de la Cruz is already mounting an expedition with that. In the border. Uh-huh. Okay, we're almost uh, Science Division finished. success. Closing the border. So okay, we got now some uh, inhibitors here. I'll probably go with this one. Uh, we might be useful later on. Chemical plants. Uh, we still have some worlds here that need to be uh, converted to a refinery or something. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, we'll just build a star base here. That should, uh, uh, you know, put some uh, mining stations. Okay, uh, League Trade Center. Two million years ago, Cram Fleet served as a major trading hub for the member na for the member nations of the First League. Large portions of the planet's surface has covered in towering cities. We have identified ruins at least 12 major spa space forts in the northern hemisphere alone. The planet was gradually abandoned over a period of several centuries, presumably as a result of shifting trade routes and the collapse of the First League. New sit rep. Okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, well, we might terraform this one day. Okay, we got a lot of work here. Um, sit wrap. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, right, uh, trade center available. Fortunately, I already got the guy here. And he's investigating, so I'm gonna go for research project on the trade center. <clears throat> it's just a, a few <coughs> jumps on uh, away from uh, sanctuary. Yeah, I'll probably have to establish some sort of uh, maybe I don't know uh, uh, some sort of a dummy. Uh, Yeah, probably a dummy uh, battle Construction suits complete. Or something. Okay, what's this guy doing? I probably have special project experience. complete. Okay, uh, what's this? Science officer Catalina de Cruz has identified the experiment, the expedition of Canmel to return to the U.S. Grizz. And sadly, the wrecked starship from the surface were too badly damaged. The vessels were clearly advanced, however, we could gain value engineering insights and analyze. We should consider constructing a permanent size outpost. Okay, good for us. Okay, Catalina de la Cruz, you'll be the one taking over here. How's this? Signs of leak activity. Okay, um, we'll go with that. I haven't noticed that part anyway. Okay, we're kind of busy right now, uh, doing a lot of. Uh, Construction complete. Wonderful. Okay, we're just gonna go a little bit of an outpost here. So how many? Uh, all right, our heart is doing nothing. It's just uh, you know, lazing off. So I'll probably do him a favor by assigning him to the uh, 
<laughs> to, to excavate some sites here. So yeah, uh, that's a good sign anyway. My my uh, economy is now uh, improving at least. Although I still uh, having some food shortages Special project and complete. consumer goods. The drone are remarkably efficient at squeezing every diminishing returns from rocks, even miners would have soon discarded. Giving exhausted at worthwhile mineral content, our top engineers are working on adapting the drone's methodology for use in the United Nations of Seoul's mining networks and stations, which should improve efficiency, effectively lessening energy expenditures. Our less important the fact is that drones are not completely silent. Contrary to previous assumptions, they emit signal pings through extremely blah 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 blah. Okay, yeah, whatever. Fascinating Ottoman. We're gonna go for our mining output. We need uh, those mining outputs ASAP. Uh, we just need some production here. Um, Special project complete. Okay, archaeological complete. It is a clear which species settled first in this world. Bones and fossil remains from all known First League member species have been found on the planet in nearly equal amounts. Our archaeologists have also secured remains from half a dozen races that weren't official members, but who seem to have enjoyed special trading privileges in the First League space. <coughs> An interesting find for even an extra galactic uh, community. Right, so I'm going to uh, build another shipyard for that. We need our fleets to be big and nasty uh, against this Midfell uh, Empire or Midfell Enlightened Kingdom. But I think they're gonna be busy because they have the prickety with them. Um. I don't think, uh, well, uh, I guess they'll be b very busy, um, I'm okay with that, uh, that's as long as they're busy with it. Uh, follow our kingdom. Okay, some guys with, um, three heads, I don't know what this one, well, they're pacifists, or Italian pacifists, but that's okay, as long as they don't, uh, you know, cause trouble for me. I'm willing to turn the other way around. Now, for the moment, I have some problems with food shortages right now. I got eight bases, uh, which some of them I will probably be converting to. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I, I lack the alloys. Uh, probably I'll be converting them to uh, food or something. Let me check this one. Uh, invest in farmers. Energy upkeep of... Uh, no, I think we should maintain with that. We could still uh, do that. Okay, we got some issues with the consumer goods as well. Um, not very... Uh, we still got limited to number of planets. Our star bases are okay. We just have to concentrate here and here. Okay, um, probably I have to go, um, okay, we need that, especially this one, um, we got a factory world here, um, might work well, but, uh, we only got two more, so, uh, we probably build with this one. Uh, Agri worlds, yeah, of course. Okay, yeah, I understand that. Um, anyway, it's a good thing to manage because we only got five. Crime rate here is very high from pops. Um, <coughs> don't understand why this one is uh, getting low. And. Uh, Yeah, I'm not gonna employ clerks as far as I'm concerned. I'm gonna employ uh, this guys. Uh, just to keep the. Uh, um, probably this will be more. Um, Uh, 
really hate it when I designate some pops here. Okay, let me take a look if this is gonna make my uh, economy spin like a tornado. Oh, anyway, it will take a Construction month. complete. Okay, what do we got? Low stability. Yeah, okay, um, here's the thing. Okay, we'll just go with that. Yeah, well, currently we need all the electricity we need. Yes, yes, of course, food shortages are very obvious right now. Construction complete. Okay, uh, good, good, good. Uh, we have at least a spare here. Oh, Midfell Kingdom. Oh my god, they're always looking out for trouble again. Uh, as you've seen as far as Kingdom. The two casinos of the park can have established a market for the trade in goods while they are natural. Okay, so uh, yeah, I guess somebody beat me to it. Not very good. So I have to better ready my uh, guys here again. Uh, this is not good. Um, these guys are, uh, you know, trying to uh, upset again. So uh, I have to be ready for a second uh, human midfowl war from the looks of this. Anyway, um... Okay, let's see. Well, they might be hostile. Uh, yeah, I have to prepare a defense here. Uh, great, I'll uh, probably have ready a few humans. Nice. Ah, Cedrus Alliance. Food. Uh huh. We still have some. Okay, what do we got? Uh. Okay. Here's the thing. I'll probably go set up a Lord of War. Some guys here. Uh. Executive figure. Uh, Edict's fun will be nice. Imperial prerogative. One vision will help us monthly unity. Um, yeah, uh, grass the void. Enigmatic engineering. Yeah, we might go for mercenary enclaves right now. But, uh, okay, fine, mercenary enclaves. Enclaves, a uh, diplomatic way from clean power, mercenaries under our patronage for more pre Yeah, we kinda need this, guys. Fine. Yes. We're good with that, mercenary enclaves. Um, for now, I don't have any mercenaries here. Um, Fleet twice is greater or equal than 50 okay so I still need at least 50 okay uh, that's okay um, so uh, there we go um, you know time really flies fast so I'll probably have to uh, save this one and uh, this concludes officially the episode 2 of uh, our gameplay so uh, I'm just going to save this one up and probably uh, read the uh, script for episode 2 and think over this on how am I going to solve this because there's another tension going on um, there's uh, this midfell uh, trying to ready a war so anyway I have to save this one also on OPS so for those who are watching this thank you a lot for watching and hope to see you soon on my next re uh, recorded let's play session so bye bye for now Ta da